Using SDR software on a PC has a lot of advantages, like the big screen. But it has a significant disadvantage. It has to be operated with the keyboard and the mouse. Today we will change that and add a foot switch and a MIDI console to the SDR console. Now we can feel like a disc jockey when we operate. But is it worth the effort? Hello wireless enthusiasts! Here is the channel with a strange Swiss distortion in the signal, with a new video around wireless and other exciting stuff. Make sure you subscribe if you do not want to miss the following emissions. I use the SDR console for the QO100 satellite. It works fine and I like it. I see the whole frequency range, jump to a signal with a mouse click and make the fine adjustments with a mouse wheel. However, I don't particularly appreciate how I have to switch to transmit. I have to point with a mouse to this tiny button and press it. Then after the emission the same again. I'm often too late on a big screen like this, particularly when looking up the call sign or entering something in my logbook while listening. This has to change. Fortunately I found this write up from Christian F5UII. He describes how we can add a pedal as a PTT switch. Cool! In addition, he even describes how to add a DJ deck. Let's immediately start. Both devices are independently connected to a USB port of the PC. Today's DJ decks already come with a USB connector. The foot switch has to be prepared by us. I use this cheap switch from AliExpress. We need to remove the only screw at the bottom to take it apart. It blocks the rod which holds the two parts together. When the screw is removed we can apply pressure on the top of the pedal while pushing the rod to one side. Now we see the spring and the switch. After removing this metal plate and loosening these two screws we can access the switch. Desolder the old cable and attach a new one. I used this shielded 26 AWG audio cable. Because I use this cable for other connections in my shack, I once bought a 20 meter roll. You can use the 24 AWG version if you want a thicker one. You find the links in the description. We have to solder the shield to the COM and at least one of the two cores to the normally open terminal. Before putting everything together, I added a few layers of heat shrink tube to increase the diameter of the cable. Now it is time to lengthen the cable. Its other end has to reach your PC or a USB hub. Christian uses a standard cable with a DB9 connector. I do not like that. I only want to add a USB to serial adapter. Here I have a few of them. All should work if we use the CTS pin. We could also use the DSR pin, but this pin is not available on all adapters. Connect the shield to ground and the cores to CTS. Now you can insert your USB to serial adapter to your PC and use real term to test your build. After installing the freeware, you can open the COM port of your adapter. Go to port, enter the port number and press open. Now you can go to display and press and release your newly built foot switch. You should see its movements in the CTS signal or in the DSR if you connected this one. Close real term before you proceed. Now you are ready to rumble with the foot switch. Just go to the transmit option of your SDR console and go to the PTT option. Select the COM port from before and the chosen signal. Hit enable and apply. Now your SDR should go to transmit. Test Hotel Bravo 9, Bravo Lima Alpha. This only works if you have an SDR with transmitting functionality attached and started of course. As you might know, I use the add-on Pluto in my lab and the add-on Pluto Plus for my satellite ground station, because this one offers native Ethernet. As the last step, you can add a heat shrink tube around the USB adapter and add some hot glue 
to fasten the cable or, as I did, print a small housing. Now we can continue to the second gadget, the DJ console. Also here we find the needed information on Christian's write-up. First we have to buy a fitting console. He uses a Hercules Compact. Because this one was not available, I purchased a Hercules Starlight. I do not see a big difference between the hardware of these two consoles. Fortunately, Massimo IU4IFR created the needed mapping file for this console too. Basically, you can use whatever MIDI console you want. You could even build one with an Arduino Micro. But then you would have to create your own mapping file. After plugging the console in your PC, you can open the configuration for the MIDI devices. Tools, Options, Controllers, MIDI. You could now assign all elements of your console to commands or download and unzip the respective file and load it with this button. Now the relevant elements are attached to functions and we can try them out. Here is the layout chosen by Massimo. The volume knob works okay. The VFO knobs initially did not work because I was unaware that the knobs have sensors on the top and you have to put your fingers there while turning them. Like one of those cool DJs in the club. It works okay. The left knob is fast and the right is for fine adjustments. But it has a disadvantage. Usually I set the middle frequency of the QO100 to the middle of the display and set the span to 550 kHz. So I have an overview of the whole transponder and I always know where I am. If I use the mouse to select my frequency, this range stays the same all the time. However, the middle frequency changes if I use the controller to adjust the frequency and go a little too far to the left or right. This behavior is very inconvenient. Maybe you know how I can fix the frequency range. Otherwise, this is a killer for me. Also, the filters seem not to work correctly. Anyway, for the QO100, I do not need them. The megahertz shift up and down anyway is not needed too. So, if somebody knows enough to adapt the XML file and include things like drive level, TX gain or proc, I probably would keep this console in my shack. Otherwise, it will be sold. Using the mouse for aiming a signal and making the fine adjustment is definitely a good choice for me. By the way, I would be glad if somebody implemented a Morse keyer in the SDR console to connect my Begali using a USB adapter like for the foot switch. Anyway, the foot switch is a beneficial addition. The MIDI console only with significant adaptions in the mapping. What is your experience? Do you use such a console? Is it more valuable on the lower bands? That is all for today. As always, you find all the relevant links in the description. 73 to everybody and please consider supporting the channel by using the links in the description. See you in the next episode.